Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hope you enjoy the video and you decide to subscribe. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for all your love and encouragement. So today I'm going to talk about getting restarted in your planner. Um, it's been a crazy year, guys, and I had um, another, I had someone request that I do a planner restart video. So that's what I'm going to do because as you, some of you probably know, I took a very, very long break from planning and it wasn't something I did intentionally. It was just something that kind of happened. And once you get out of the habit of doing something like that, it is very difficult to get back into the swing of things. So I don't have any <laughs> magic words or anything that can motivate you. I mean, I can try to motivate you, but I don't have, you know, I wish I could wave a magic wand and, and you know, get you all back to planning again, but it's not that easy. But what I can do is I can share what worked for me and give you a few tips to maybe help you get going. So just a little bit of background about my year. Um, it started out in January. I broke my foot and that had me pretty much on the couch with my foot propped up for about six weeks. And as I was getting well from that, I got really sick. And um, the illness was a lot like COVID. And I did get tested about three weeks into it. And I was negative. So either it wasn't COVID or it was a faulty test. I don't know. I probably will never know. But I was sick for about six weeks. And it, it, it was, if it was COVID, I'm here to tell you it was no fun. But whatever it was, it was no fun. And so as I'm trying to recover from that was when all, you know, COVID really got going. And <clears throat> my husband saw his doctor and his doctor, because of his, his history, um, he has asthma and he also has lupus. And he takes medication that suppresses his immune system. So his doctor recommended that he take a medical leave of absence from work. And that was a big decision for us because I wasn't working at the time and we didn't know how we would get by without his job. So we kind of just had to weigh all the options and it had a lot to do with his job. He works in construction and in construction, you don't get sick time. These companies do not provide their employees with sick time, which means a lot of them work sick because they depend on that paycheck. And a lot of them live paycheck to paycheck and you miss one day and it can throw everything off and it can make you get behind on your bills. And I mean, that's part of the problem with the construction industry. I'm not, I'm not here to talk about that. <clears throat> Just trying to give you a little bit of background. Um, it, so it was a big decision for us. And what it came down to was there's no material thing that is worth more to me than my husband's life. Plain and simple. It, and, and when it really came down to it, it was an easy decision to make. But with that decision became, came a lot of anxiety. I'm sure you can imagine. How do you just go from, you know, having income to having no income? And we did eventually get through it and are still getting through it. And we are, we are very blessed to be doing very well right now. You never know what could happen. It could all change tomorrow. If that's one thing I've learned in my 44 years, don't take anything for granted. <laughs> Something that may not be affecting you today could definitely affect you tomorrow. You know, something bad could happen and it could suck our savings dry or, you know, whatever. There's a lot of things that could happen. And so I feel very, very blessed right now. But like I said, with all of that came a lot of anxiety and depression. And I can deal with anxiety on its own and still function. I can deal with depression on its own and still function. But put the two together in extreme circumstances and I pretty much shut down and for a while all I did was sit and binge watch whatever I could find because that was the only way I could make my brain stop worrying if I wasn't doing that to like actively basically turn my brain off it was constant worry and 
I couldn't stand quiet. Like I didn't, I didn't want anything to be quiet. I had to have some kind of noise going because if it was quiet, then I had to think. And I'm sure any, anybody that suffers from anxiety or depression, I'm sure you fully understand what I'm saying. And I'm trying to explain it maybe for people that don't suffer from it. You're very fortunate, um, but it can be debilitating. And, but you have to learn how to overcome it. And eventually I did. And I started getting, I started really, I think, getting better in July. And we started, we kind of figured out our financial situation around the first part of August. But before that, I decided I wanted to get back to planning. I wanted to get back to filming, but I needed to get back into the swing of actually planning because I, it almost felt like I was starting all over again. Like I hadn't done it. Like I had forgotten everything I had learned. Um, so I'm going to share with you what I did and it started very simply by checking my email every day, which I was already doing because I was looking for a job, but I would just weed, read, you know, just kind of weed through and certain emails I would avoid like <laughs> the Michaels emails because that would just make me depressed. Oh, this stuff is on sale and I can't buy anything right now. So <laughs> there were certain things that I avoided and I basically just skimmed through looking for um, responses to job applications. But eventually I had to stop doing that. I had to get back into it. And I started by just kind of looking at my Pinterest emails and trying to find some inspiration. And I came across my um, a blogger that I follow, Sheena of the Journal. She's very talented bullet journal um, artist, I guess. And she makes free printables every month. And this is the September free printable. But I printed out the August, and that is where I actually started. And I'm sorry, the camera is shaking, guys. It's not in its permanent location. My husband is not here to help me mount it. So um, I just kind of have it mounted to the shelf on my desk. So I apologize for the shakiness. Um, anyway, this is where I started. And she does these free every month and I could not find I have my August one and I couldn't find it anywhere and I, I didn't even write anything down in it for September but that's where I started I just kinda wrote down everything that was going on everything I wanted to remember for August I filled out some goals made a task list and that's where I started from there I moved on to I'm gonna set this aside I moved on to my skinny classic happy planner and I thought that's where I'm gonna start because I use it for journaling and so this was my very first spread back into doing things and you know it's a very simple I started with something very simple um, just to kind of get myself back into the swing of it and I'm gonna go ahead and do a spread while we're on here and while I'm talking about all of this because it's actually it's gonna be again very simple and what I did was I just I picked out one of my favorite washi tapes found some stickers that matched it kind of looked good with it and started putting them down um, well actually the first thing I did was I went through and wrote down like every well I told you that but I put it in the planner everything that was gonna happen for August and I don't have any room but anyway so here we go I picked out this washi it's very fall like and I pulled a few stickers and put them on <laughs> my improvised guide y'all I I think if you watched my past videos you saw I was having trouble pulling the clear stickers off of these guides well I just taped a piece of um, wax paper to it <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is lay this washi tape down and and that's really the best advice I can give you is to, like the sticker says, just start. Just start somewhere. And don't overthink it. Don't try to make it a big elaborate spread. And this is something that you can start today. I'm going to link Sheena of the Journal down below if you want to go and print that out. You just go to her blog and print it out and just just start just start um, I've also got some other tips that I'm gonna read off kind of 
maybe as I'm doing this. I don't know. I don't know if I can read stuff off of my notepad and lay stickers down at the same time. <laughs> but I just had to slowly work myself back into it. And once you get started, then the creativity starts to flow again. You start kind of feeling it again. And once I, I got that first spread done, as simple as it was, and as simple as this one's going to be, I was like, okay, that was fun. I wish I had been doing it all along. Um, and these stickers came from Happy Memory Keeping. And I was kind of mad at myself. And, and, you know, don't be mad at yourself. Don't be mad at yourself. It just... This year has been... It's been, it's been crazy for all of us. And... We're all just trying to do our best to make it through. And... You know, we're all in different situations. So there's no one size fits all. There's no magic combination. There's no, I don't know. Like I said, the best thing I can do is just tell you what worked for me. <laughs> this turns out okay. Y'all know how I feel about laying down leaves and flowers and stuff. I'm just not that good at it. <gasps> the sticker I picked does not want to come off the guide. It's the perfect sticker, and I spent so long looking for it. It says, start where you are, with what you have, do what you can. And that is a perfect quote, I think. <laughs> yep. It just does not want to come over here. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm. The sticker is going down. If I have to glue it down, it's going down. Just don't rip all the way through. Okay. <laughs> it's a wrinkled mess. <laughs> this is just. It's so typical of 2020, y'all. Okay, <laughs> there we go. It's not straight. <laughs> it's not perfect. But guys, it's a spread. And see how quick and easy that was, even though I spent a lot of time looking for that sticker. And the sticker came out of this book. Um, and this is Happy Planner Washi Tape. But <laughs> it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to share a few other tips with you. <laughs> Let's put this to the side. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> where was I at? I need my notes. Um, <laughs> anyway, first I started with this. Just basically writing down what was going on for the month. And then I moved on to a very simple spread. And then I did a weekly. And then I started doing all of my monthlies for August. And slowly but surely, I got back into the groove of things. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but uh, there was a few things I wanted to say. First of all, there are no rules in how you plan your life or what you do with your planner. It's your planner. Today's the, well, tomorrow. Today is the 16th. When y'all see this, it's going to be the 16th. And... Go ahead and, and start in the middle of September. It's okay. It's okay. Don't don't stress yourself out trying to get all of your monthlies done. Or maybe go ahead and start your planning for October. Um, do a weekly spread. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel good. Okay? There are no rules. It's your planner. You do whatever you want with it. Whatever makes you feel good. Whatever makes you feel more productive. Okay, now a few tips. I got five tips here. Um, first, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. All great sources of inspiration. I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest, from, 
from Pinterest. You guys know how much I love free printables, and I've got some more I'm going to share with you in just a minute. Well, I'll go ahead and share them now. And I will link these down below. These are from Natasha Hall, and these are for October, and they're just, they're gorgeous. If you don't want to use your planner that you bought for 2020, you want to change things up, this is a perfect way to do it. And these are in the Happy Planner um, size, so you just cut them down to fit. But, and I didn't print them back to back. I just kind of print them out. But this is the monthly. And then the weekly is just, and this would make it a lot easier even to decorate. Because it's already got a little bit of stuff on here. And you can just add some stuff to it. Keep it simple. Don't, don't overthink trying to get back into it. Um, the next one I have is, you can do this for any month. And again, if you want it, and this is Natasha Hall as well. Um, if you wanted just to kind of start with something different, this one has a daily sheet that you can do. And there's not really any decorating required. You just write in this one. And then this one has weekly. And then it's got a weekly planner. And this is also in happy planner size. Isn't that beautiful? She does such a beautiful job. Um, and see, she has the Sunday start and a Monday start. So if you want to change things up and you've got a printer and you've got some paper, here you go. I use a higher quality paper and with my printer, so I don't ever have to worry about ink, I use the um, Hewlett Packard Instant Ink or HP Instant Ink program. I pay $10 a month. Y'all, I print and print and print and print and I still have rollover pages so I'm happy because I was spending when I was having to buy cartridges I was spending way way more than that but it just you know go on Pinterest go on Instagram go on YouTube find some inspiration you know watch your favorite youtubers and you know get back into things just start getting the feel for it um, Two, if you can now this is this is we're in difficult financial times right now so not all of you can do this go shop for a new sticker book there's lots of new stuff out right now sometimes when I'm really stressed out um, I, I do what's called my retail therapy and I don't go and spend a lot of money I mainly shop clearance aisles Dollar Tree um, you can get some really inexpensive stickers from Dollar Tree and from Walmart or you can go to Michael's and use a coupon, get something on sale, even if it's just one sticker book. If that's all you can afford, that's fine. And if you can't afford to do that, don't do that. Shop your own stash. That is my number three tip. If I had come in here in the middle of all of that, if I had like forced myself to come in here and just start, you know, maybe cleaning or going through stuff. I would have been re-inspired because I have I have enough stuff in here if I didn't buy another planner something planner stickers planner whatever I, I would have enough stuff to plan for the next 10 years 5 10 years something like that but shop your own stash sit down and look through your sticker books pull your favorite sticker book out and just do a, a spread with that one sticker book like I said keep it keep it simple to start with um, rearrange your desk rearrange your craft room I did that I came in here and it it kind of reset me and put me in a different frame of mind and that that kind of helped me get back into the groove of things as well rearrange your planner pull it apart put some new stuff in it you know whatever makes you feel good that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to get at there is no magic words I can say you know, I can't bibbity bobbity boo you're back to planning it's not like that it's it's something that you have to do individually you have to do it on your own and I'm here to say I know how you feel it's um, you know it, it was it took me forever to get back into the groove of things I didn't start filming until the first part of December or first part of Wow See, I really want this year to be over. Um, I didn't start filming again until the first part of September. I planned for a solid month before I actually got up the courage and to sit down under the camera and put something together for all of you. But I did it, and I'm proud of myself. Do I wish I would have done it sooner? Absolutely. Absolutely, because it, it would have given me something else to focus on besides everything going on. 
Um, it, I'm just, you know, I'm here for you guys. And if there's anything, if there's any type of video that you would like to see that may help inspire you to get back into the groove of things, drop me a comment down below and I would be happy if, if I can, I will do it for you. If you want to see me work with your favorite sticker book, let me know what sticker book it is. And if I have it, I'll make it happen. Um, just, I've got bugs flying around in here, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's late at night. This is one of those late night videos. <laughs> but, um, but just, just start. That's the best advice I can give you is just start. Find something that inspires you and start. So anyway, that's all I have today. That's, that's it. That's, that's, I wish, like I said, I wish there were magic words I could say and boom, you'd be back to doing it. But it's just not that easy. And we all know that. But you will get there. Be persistent. Try not to fall into, you know, bad habits. Just do a little bit each day. Don't force yourself into it. Um, but just do a little bit. Like I said, just one simple little spread. That's all it took for me. And I was ready to start laying a bunch of stickers down. Like I couldn't wait to do my next one. After I got that first one out of the way, I felt so much better. So, <clears throat> like I said, that's all I have for today, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I um, I always try to respond within 24 hours. You can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Those links are down below. I will link all of these free printables down below to their blogs. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click the bell if you'd like to receive notifications. That's all I have for now. I really hope that you all enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.